<laughs> nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. But listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do, stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, You'll do 15 years, and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Stubbs. Why are you doing this? I told you, I was good for a favor. So, you're in the middle of middle age. That hasn't stopped you from feeling young. When you die, it doesn't have to be the end. Hi, I'm Uzi Fitzsummons, and I know that you, your animals, even women, have an essence that continues to flow after the death of a body. In ancient Egypt, where they were fascinated with triangles, man cats, and incest, the mummification process ensured that in a thousand years, you'll still look great, and your spirit can make love after death. Wow, now you can too. Preserve your heritage and soul in the next life by getting mummified. Just listen to one of our customers who signed up. I swear I didn't pay him. Hey, when they burn you worms, beat out your brain. Or they burn the shit out of you. What if I ain't really dead? Even if I'm dead, I don't want that shit. Then I heard about mummification. I'm gonna get myself some crazy sarcophagus or some shit like that. I'm a pharaoh. Wow, mummification. Preserve yourself the ancient way. Music will set you free. Getting out of here? Oh, haven't you enjoyed your time in the state's care? What a fucking pleasure! Terry, man, we gotta pay our friend Billy a visit. He's been talking. Bring Clay and bring all the fucking firepower you got. Meet me at the Alderney State Correctional. I'm waiting. One last job, guys. I appreciate this, man. It ain't gonna be easy. Hey, Johnny! Ta-da! You're not getting cash for these weapons, man. Blame Billy. Rock and roll! <laughs>
Here, my friend. Lost them fucking sea. You fucking ready for this? Let's end this. and stay. 
stamina to make an impression that lasts. Hey, Miss Cornelius, can I uh, see after class? Wow, Sebastian. Looks like somebody's going to earn an A. Ask your pediatrician about Mollus or order online from any number of disreputable Mexican pharmacists. Mollus is Vesuvius citrate and should be taken with alcohol. Mollus, prepare for the explosion. Billy may have helped to build our club, but he sure as shit ripped it apart. I'll forgive him the insults and injuries, but I can't forgive him that. Treacherous fucking bastard. He went insane! The Liberty City Symphony System left two members of the Lost Biker Gang dead earlier. One of the dead bikers has been identified as Jim Fitzgerald of Alderney. It seems the biker problem remains completely out of control. Despite Mayor Ochoa's insistence to the contrary, it seems that gang crime is completely Terry, out of control. Clay, thanks for rolling with me. This gang is fucked all the hell right now, but I'll love you brothers until I die. Man, I miss Jim. He was one princely son of a bitch. The best thing this gang ever had. Oh, and says it's hard to notice the difference of players on steroids. I thought all men have back acne, violent mood swings, and tiny packages. You mean they were roiding? I feel cheated. Johnny. Hey. Hey. We had fun here. <laughs> yeah, we did. But it's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people, which means good is never good enough. I mean, it wasn't enough we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. You know. Well, that combination of greed and fucked up stupidity, that works well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out of here. 